I want to make a video about why I think older types of horror film are better than the newer versions of horror films, if that makes sense. Um, for me, over the last 20 years or so, there's been a real slow and steady decline in the quality of horror films that we're seeing. There was a time when, round about in the 80s I would say, where you were getting a lot of films that were, a lot of horror films that were poor, that were, were badly made, and some were terrible, really, really bad, but they were enjoyable. And I think one of the problems is that the horror films that are getting made now that are, you know, below par, they don't have any charm to them. You know, you get those films that are so bad they're good. You know, you watch these films from like the 70s, 80s, some from the 90s, and uh, yeah, we, it's consistently what happens is that those films, even you watch them, you just be like, oh, this is awful, this is really bad. You can be laughing at it. You'd sort of enjoy it for its sort of kitsch value. And then you look to more modern films uh, that are bad, 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 bad horror films. And they're just boring. That's all they are. And I've been trying to think about why that is. I think that people have access now to filmmaking devices on a budget, you know, people can shoot, I mean, I just bought a DSLR camera to shoot a film on, and, you know, so, if I make a bad horror film, then, you know, I'm kind of talking about myself, I don't know, but, you know, cameras are so readily available now, where you can actually shoot decent, a decent quality of image, and so, so many people are making films now, and what's the first film that most people try and go and do? A horror film, and... I think in the past what would happen is, you know, in the 70s and 80s, you would have to shoot on film to make a movie, you know, you'd have to shoot on film and that was an expensive process, so even if something was low budget, you'd still have to spend 20, 30 grand just to make it, I mean, you look at like a Clerks, you know, it's not a horror film, but it's a very famous sort of independent low budget film and it was shot in black and white 60 millimeter stock in the 1990s and it cost I think it was somewhere about 24 grand or something like that to make so it cost money then now with disposable media uh, like uh, Solid State and even like Mini DV and things like that anyone can make a horror film and <clears throat> because of that the marketplace is just filled with absolute dross again a marketplace that you know I'm going to enter as well and you know put my own dross onto people uh, as well and but I don't think it's just the quality of the stock I don't think it's just the fact that you know more and more people are making horror films now so therefore the quality does go down I think there there was a sincerity there was a charm to those other films whereas I think because films are so easily made now on a low budget people don't put a lot of time into them what was really funny and charming about films from like the 80s that were so bad that were good was that people really tried they had really really tried and they knew about filmmaking and that's what was kind of almost funny about it and let's like say it added a charm to it so I think that's one of the problems at the moment but I think another problem with modern horror films is that they are there is no atmosphere filmmakers are not building atmosphere in their movies if you watch any horror film, you start watching horror films from the very beginning, from like the 1920s onwards, you will see that what consistently happened over time was that films became less and less ponderous as time went on and that was that was okay, but we got to a point where we had, you know, struck a good balance between allowing a film to move quickly and also being able to create an atmosphere. But then we went past it. We went into the MTV age where everybody's doing these really quick edits, quick cuts all over the place. You don't, you, you're barely looking at anything, you know. Another reason why I love John Carpenter films because 
he just has loads of wide shots and you know they're simple shots composed well at something you're seeing it you get to take it in you know and so there's no atmosphere I, th I think that a lot of the time filmmakers are trying to shock rather than scare as well you know one of the things that I really don't like about modern horror is the sort of torture porn uh, the torture porn films that we're seeing now you know like uh, Saw, I actually enjoyed the first Saw film but I think it spawned loads of movies that are just purely there for uh, shock and to me that's not what makes a good horror film I remember watching Audition which is a Japanese film and it's got a very famous climactic scene where someone is tortured horribly and it just seemed pointless to me, you know. I was watching, even though the film was shot well, and it was, it was, it was. In fact, it was shot quite beautifully, if I remember rightly. But the, uh, the just this, this horrific scene. There was no point to it whatsoever. And I think that, along with the sort of torture porn, you know progression that we're seeing in modern horror and the lack of atmosphere no build up there just seems to be a, a, a lack of, of original ideas um, no one seems to be really trying to do anything, someone's just messaging me on my computer uh, there seems to be a lack of ideas about how to do horror and how to do it well and uh, it's quite disappointing really I don't think there's anyone really doing great, great horror. I'm not saying there have not been good horror films in the last 20 years. There have been, there have been a number of them. But I think there have been far fewer in the last 20 years than if you go the 20 years before that, the 20 years before that. There was, there was always good quality ones. And when's the last time you saw a horror film that you would put up there as uh, an absolute classic, an absolute classic horror film? If you actually think about it, the last sort of 15 years maybe, 20 years, it's very difficult. There aren't many, and um, that's a real problem. And I really hope Hollywood gets its ass in gear. But I think horror is probably going to have to be put back on life support by independent filmmakers and real independent filmmakers, not these ones that say they're independent but they've actually got a studio behind them. Um, anyway, that's my rant, if you will. I don't know why I did that, but uh, about modern horror, I think it, it's it's really lacking something that the older films have, and I really would say to anyone who like watches a lot of modern horror, like horror that's coming out now, go and watch stuff from the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, up to the early 90s, and you'll just see a massive difference, massive difference in what we're getting now, and it's not just hindsight, you know, um, I hope. I hope it is actually an informed uh, decision that I'm making about these things. Anyway, that's what I think. What do you think? Do you think there's a problem with modern horror or am I just pissing in the wind? That's all. Bye.